today on 15 minute field trips we'll be going to the dump. So I'm going to set out all the materials I've accumulated that cannot go in the recycling bin and shouldn't go in the trash either. Toxic chemicals, hazardous waste, all that kind of stuff that we have right here in our home. And we'll go through it one at a time and I'll let you know how we make out at the, at the recycling center. Okay, so we're back and here's what we've accumulated from the garage and various other places that we're going to take to the uh, Johnson Landfill tomorrow with our appointment. So you don't need to make an appointment to bring any electronics, they'll take TVs anytime, but you do need to make an appointment for household waste because it costs money to get rid of them and to process them and hopefully find elements that you can recycle. In here, I have a big bag of batteries, we've got our lead batteries, lithium batteries, all kinds of batteries. After a while, they turn into this. And I'm reducing my battery intake because now we have switched to rechargeable batteries. And they do make these in different sizes besides just the AA. So you can get a lot more use out of them. Eventually these will wear out, but they will last a lot longer and use a lot less space in the landfill. Here I have our CFL bulbs, which do contain mercury, so you want to have take a lot of care. You can hear the rattle in there. If it does happen to break, you want to scoop up the shards and the dust with a piece of cardboard and put it into a plastic bag. And make sure you wash your hands. So we'll be taking those as well. The old school light bulbs will be coming with us. Old paint, uh, oil-based paint, they'll take other paint. Some, if you can peel the latex paint out of there, you could recycle the metal. This, is, this has lots of chemicals in it, so I don't know what they do with that, but we're taking that with us. A couple more batteries. Also, change the light in my car. So I'll see what they can do with that. This was some silicone I was going to use, some glue, but it dried up on me because from some project years ago, so we'll take that with us. Uh, household waste. This is mostly empty, but I don't know if I can recycle the container because I can't really take this off and clean it, so I'm going to bring that. Shampoos. There's some stuff in this shampoo that's not approved in Europe because of all the chemicals. So we're just going to take them out because we don't use this kind of shampoo. Animal shampoo too. It's all going to go. And expired saline solution. I might be going a little overboard on here. I just don't know how toxic this stuff is. A lot of cosmetics we use are full of toxins that we don't even think about. There's lipstick with lead in it. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we'll start with uh, the rest of the pile. Okay, we're ready to finish up packing here. One thing I forgot is that I have to list everything for my appointment. So I have nine CFL bulbs, three incandescent bulbs, an 18.5 ounce bottle of shampoo, etc., etc. These were never opened, but they contain polysorbate 20, polyethylene, terephthalate, fragrance, which can't verify if it's toxic or not, methylparaben, carboner, triethylanomine, propylparaben, Stuff that I don't want my kid having on her body. So those will go. This is cleaner and lubricant. Miracle Grow. I do everything organically now. I used this when I first started gardening, but this is probably 10 years old and it's it's moved with me and it's still it was still in the garage. But I, I do mostly compost and chicken manure now and I don't want 
keep this around. And electronics. This I rescued from the trash. I don't know if there's anything harmful in it, but they'll know better than me. I'm also bringing some other objects I'm not sure they'll be able to take. Clean styrofoam. We'll see if that works. And these are supposedly not recyclable, but I don't know if they can do something with them. And scrap metal, because you don't want it caught in the machine. And this will be taking, which leaves expired medications. And expired medications you don't want to take to the landfill or the recycling center. You do want to take them to a place that will be able to make them inert. So sometimes pharmacies will take them, but a lot of times you can bring them to a police station. So you don't want to be dumping this into the water because this will contaminate the drinking water supply. A lot of people have taken medications without even knowing it because it's in the water. So that includes medications for pets, old aspirin and Tylenol, cough medicine, prescriptions, allergy medicine, all of that should have a special place in your house or once a year just go through the cabinets, collect it all up and some, some communities have a certain day you can drop off and other communities you can go in any time. So those will be in a separate compartment and I think the rest of this is ready to take to the landfill.